New mum Meghan has a new ring. The Duchess of Sussex sports an eternity band on ring finger symbolizing Harry's everlasting love in her first public appearance since the birth of baby Archie. Meghan Markle rushed back from maternity leave to attend Troop in the Color, alongside Prince Harry, in her first public appearance since revealing Prince Archie to the world. And keen-eyed royal fans spotted that the beaming new mother was wearing a stunning third ring, which they claimed could be an eternity ring next to her engagement and wedding rings. The Duchess of Sussex looked radiant as she entered Buckingham Palace in the back of a dark blue Range Rover ahead of the Queen's official birthday celebrations just four weeks after giving birth. She and Harry were then whisked away in a carriage to the Horse Guards Parade to join the royal family, and thousands of spectators, to watch 1,400 troops, 400 musicians and 200 horses march in the parade. Sharing the carriage with Kate Middleton and Camilla, Meghan chatted animatedly to her in-laws and beamed and waved at crowds of well-wishers. Unfortunately for fans hoping to get a glimpse of baby Archie, the new parents didn't bring their son to the event. Meghan was glowing as she donned a bespoke navy Givenchy dress and coat, paired with an old Stuart hat. But it was a new piece of jewelry that got eagle-eyed viewers speculating. She was spotted with a third ring on her wedding ring finger fueling rumors she'd been given a push present from her husband. The tradition, popular in the U.S., sees the father give the mother a ring to mark the birth of their newborn. Sitting below her engagement ring and wedding ring, it was difficult to spot from the front, but viewers picked up on the three defined bands on the inside of Meghan's finger when she waved from her carriage. Four generations of the royal family then gathered on Buckingham Palace's balcony to watch the traditional RAF fly past which featured modern typhoon jets and historic aircraft such as the iconic Spitfire, Hurricane and Lancaster bomber. There were more cheeky antics from Prince George Princess Charlotte, who stuck their tongues out and pressed their faces up against the windows at the palace just as they did last year. Prince Louis joined in the fun too on what was his first royal engagement. The Duchess had been on maternity leave caring for her baby, born at a private London hospital on May 6, and Harry has already spoken about how parenthood has changed their lives, saying he cannot imagine life without his son. Meghan, 37, had told Aides she was eager to get back to work as soon as possible. Her sister in law, Kate, 37, came back after just five weeks following the birth of George in 2013. Meghan joined Harry, the Duchess of Cornwall and Duchess of Cambridge in a coach that was greeted by cheers from crowds in the mall as it made its way to Horse Guards Parade in London's Whitehall for the trooping ceremony. In another horse-drawn carriage was Princess Eugenie and husband Jack Brooks Bank, Princess Beatrice and the Duke of Kent. The Queen arrived in a procession full of pomp and pageantry featuring a sovereign's escort from the household cavalry, made up of lifeguards and blues and royals, in their silver and gold breastplates and plumed helmets. Riding on horseback behind the Queen's coach were the Royal Colonels, the Prince of Wales, Colonel of the Welsh Guards, the Princess Royal, Colonel of the Blues and Royals, and the Duke of Cambridge, Colonel of the Irish Guards and Duke of York, Colonel of the Grenadier Guards. Trooping the color is social as well as a ceremonial occasion and in the stands overlooking the parade ground were the wives, girlfriends and parents of the guardsmen and officers on parade. The event featured around 1,400 servicemen in total and hundreds of guardsmen were lined up on the parade ground waiting to be inspected by the Queen. The color, or ceremonial regimental flag, being paraded this year was from the 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards a front-line infantry regiment of the British Army when not performing ceremonial duties. Their lineage can be traced back to 1656 when the military unit was raised as the sovereign's bodyguards by King Charles II while in exile in Bruges. Harry, Meghan, Kate and the other royals, including the Earl and Countess of Wessex and their children the Viscount Severn and Lady Louise Windsor, watched events from Wellington's office overlooking horse guards. Among the guests was Theresa May who formally stepped down as Prime Minister on Friday, but will remain in office until a successor has been appointed. The royal women looked stylish in their outfits with the Queen wearing an Angela Kelly tweed dress in shades of pale pink, mint yellow and gold and a matching hat by Ms. Kelly.
The head of state also wore a badge of the Brigade of Guards. Meghan wore a dress by Claire Waite Guller and hat by Noel Stewart while Kate wore a favorite designer, an Alexander McQueen dress and hat by Philip Tracy. Camilla had also chosen a mainstay designer Bruce Oldfield who had created a bright green dress and coat with white embroidery teamed with a Philip Tracy hat. The Countess of Wessex, who had traveled to the ceremony in a carriage with her husband the Earl of Wessex and their children the Viscount Severn and Lady Louise Windsor, wore a green Susanna dress and hat by Jane Taylor.